Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fallout 4. Today we are going to be investigating the Institute. Uh, mostly because it's the only thing we can do right now. So let's hop back into first person. Let's use this computer terminal to do something. View access log. Um, executing mission parameters. Oh, do I have to, to leave it there? Yeah, I have to wait. Uh huh. Is that. Are we done? What. What am I supposed to be doing? Here's the question. What am I supposed to be doing? Data. Quests. Insert network scanner holotape into the. Oh. I see. Load holotape. Um. Network scanner. Initiate network scan. There we go. I know how to hack. Um, eject hop. Okay, so we have that done, taken care of. Let's sneaky, sneaky, sneak around and see if we can see if anything, anything of interest. Doesn't look. Like, oh, there's a toolbox. What could be in it? Oh, bobby pin, screwdriver. I'll take some of that stuff. I feel like I gotta sneeze and yawn at the same time. Oh, it sucks. Never mind. No, I don't have to. It's okay. I persevered through adversity. Um, let's see. Things are doing science. Hello. Hello. I am. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Uh, okay. Started. Institutionalized. Um... Gotta be honest, I'm a little bit worried that, oh, you know, I'll take that. I'm a little bit worried that this guy knows that I'm, well, I guess I shouldn't, shouldn't be amazed that they know I'm here. I mean, they have all this science technology. Okay, well, I mean, you murdered my wife Welcome and to took my child. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, nice. we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials. A shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It is never uh -huh. been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. You know, I would... There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. Yeah. Look here. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that could wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Yes. Which is the reason why I think you're kind of full of shit whenever you say you got all these great plans for humanity. When you do things like kidnap. In, at least, at least in my opinion, it sort of devalues your whole holier than thou. We're here to help humanity. Argument. Is that a, is that a camera? No, that's just a joint. Uh, a bracket, if you will. Is that him? I 
hear somebody walking. Okay, people are walking. Can't pick this. Only opens with a key. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <gasps> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean, where is everyone? Father, what's going on? What's happening? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father, help me. Yeah, it went about as well as I expected. Sean. S923, recall code Sira. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please, try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional. Okay. And that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Yeah. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. You're insane. This is insane. All of it. The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please. Just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here, in the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been real. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. Wait, what? I am your son. What? 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 How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. Well, that makes sense, more. actually. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son you'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. But why? Why take a child? Yeah. Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far, the human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. 
That's why they took you, in a manner of speaking. Yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary, but then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. Okay, I see. Frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organic used to create every human life synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. Okay, here's the whole thing. If you truly believe that, then why do you not treat them as equals? And you... you've been down here the whole time? I have. Yes. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. A mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation and that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility oh, shit. I take Sorry. very seriously. <clears throat> the Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. They're scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say to ease your mind? Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. You could have put him down. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, 
to have some amount of revenge. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? With everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. No. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Sure. I'll say sure. Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division head, Dr. Fillmore in facilities, Dr. AO in SRB, Dr. Holdren in bioscience, and finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Um, okay. All right. Sean, about this synth thing. You mean the child? It's a fascinating project, really. There are issues to be solved, of course, but we've made remarkable progress. Why build it to look like you? Yeah, it that's weird. The technology behind since to a point where this struck me as an interesting variation, a new angle, if you will. Modeling it after myself seemed only natural, what with the institute's records on my genetics and physiology. I'll make sure it's brought back online in the near future. You'll have an opportunity to interact with him first, but I'll admit I'm curious. As a parent looking for a child, looking for the younger version of me, what do you think? Do you think you could love him like you would a real boy? Seriously? You really believe a human could love a synth? That's a difficult question. I suppose it depends on how closely we've managed to mimic human behavior and emotions. Yours is a unique position. You may be the only one that's truly able to answer these questions right now. I wouldn't claim to know everything you're feeling, but if in some small way the boy's presence can help, I hope you'll keep an open mind. Yeah, look, the thing is... I don't know, man. I really don't know. Weird hibernation beds. I, I, don't, I don't know what to make of any of this. Honestly. I, uh... Let's see what's in here. Okay, first off, let's, here's my first impression. Yes, it's great. You have all this technology. And, whoops, I'm down here again. 
and you claim you want to help people and that you're almost done just need to tighten up this primary drive servo that's the third primary drive breakdown this month as far as i'm concerned the phase out on these older models can't come soon enough oh i don't know most of them have lasted long past their projected life scanning if subject me, identified they were built pretty well i can't argue with that even so i'm ready to see the full gen 3 roll out there we go all set unit you can return to duty thanks again of course the institute's a big place it might take a while to learn where everything is doc they weren't kidding you really are here well all right. yeah I'm Allie, Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I guess I just wasn't ready to die yet. Oh, that's understandable. The will to survive is the most basic human instinct. Now. I'll give you a quick rundown of the facility's division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So. Now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Sure. Absolutely. Oh, good to hear. It'll be a load off Sean's mind. Take your time. Get yourself acquainted. There's a lot to take in. Plenty of things you won't find topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know about the facilities division, I'm happy to discuss it. No, I think I'm good for now. Goodbye then. Adios. Like, if you have all this great technology and your society is so awesome, why don't you bring it topside? Why don't... Grab a drink of water real quick. You know, why... Hidden. Um, eh, maybe not. Alright, let's go to bio... Oh, bioscience! We need to get that thing for Virgil, the serum that he made. And we are going to... What are these tubes for? Don't rightly know, but I don't really care. We need to help Virgil out. He got us in here. Even though we didn't find exactly what we wanted, we still owe him. So it looks like storage. All right, let's go find the main, the main area, office area, and we'll. Uh... Oh man. Okay. Doctor Holdren's synth gorilla project is showing promising results. You're here. Glad you made it. Synthetic gorillas. What's in here? FEV, FEV lab entry terminal. Question best left to our colleagues in the robotics division. Yes, well, hmm. I suppose you're right. Okay, I'm gonna talk to this guy. And, Please uh, resist any urge you might feel to eat the specimens in the hydroponic garden. <sighs> Humanity's future is taking root right here. Okay. Hi, Doc. Welcome. So good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. 
like what? I was just about to explain that. As the name implies, the Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most Ooh. important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. To that end, we cultivate highly specialized breeds of flora for use in food and medicine. We've even started okay. to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. What's... Yeah, I can't imagine anything more exciting than fake gorillas. Speaking only for myself, I find them fascinating. Of course, I might be a little biased. <laughs> I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? I'm not sure how well I'll fit in, but I'd like to give it a try. Great. I was hoping you'd say that. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Oh, yes. Um... You mentioned medical care. I might need that from time to time. In that case, you'll want to introduce yourself to Dr. Dean Volker. He's okay. our top biologist and also serves as the Institute's resident physician. Dr. Volkert works in the infirmary. Just pay him a visit whenever you need to. You won't find better medical care anywhere else in the Commonwealth. I'll promise you that. See, that's the thing. Okay, I'm done. We're we're done. Okay, that's that's it. We are we are done. Okay. You say you have super advanced medical technologies. Why don't you go up top and open up clinics and start helping people? Uh you, you got good ideas on the way society should be run. Why don't you start a damn government? Use your sense to fight off the raiders and everything. And then protect people with them instead of sneaking in the night and kidnapping their children and shooting their wives. Grrr, this makes me so mad. Sorry. I need to calm down a bit. And I need to find out if there is such a thing as these. I need to find, figure out where. I'll take, of course, a uniform. Oh, I'll take that. Hmm. All right. Well, okay, guys. This has been a very interesting and eye-opening episode. I will be uh, signing off now. And uh, thank you guys for watching. We've got to keep our eyes on these Institute guys. Like I say... They may have the best intentions, but the way they're going about it is leaving a lot to be desired. To the point where I can't trust them. Not at all. Not... Oh, hey, some drugs. Cannot trust anybody here. So, um... Yeah, I guess we're going to hide out here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.